This is another edition of the Friday Beer Buzz. Friday Beer Buzz. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hey, all right, yeah, Friday Beer Buzz, powered by Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar in Exeter, with the area's greatest selection of rare, craft, and imported beers, and lots of them, growlers and crowlers, and 37 rotating drafts, Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar, Wyoming Avenue in Exeter. All right, we got Linda, we got Bill. Linda Sabatini's here first. Good morning. What's sir. happening? Not much. Are you ready for Christmas? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, yeah. It's a little premature, but only by no, a few it's days. Good. No, you say it, you're supposed to say it for the whole two weeks prior. Bill, you settle this. Do we say it now or do we say it in two weeks? No, it's fine. Merry Christmas, Bill. How are you? Bill from MyBeerBuzz.com uh, is here. Happy Friday. Merry Christmas. Merry New Year. Happy Christmas. Whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm in. I'm just curious to ask Lindo a quick question, and we'll get a couple beer news things real quick, and we have some great beer we're going to try. Uh, how crazy does, uh, I never really thought of this, I think of t- traditional retail clothing outlets, big box stores, how crazy does it get at 17s when it comes to people getting last minute? Well, it's, it's busy. I was it's thinking. Good. I mean, I mean, clothing and all that stuff, people can buy on Amazon. As of, as of yet, you still have to go to a store to get beer. And you have, uh, what's the word? Oh, everything. We have a couple. We have, we, we, we have, a, we have a couple beers. Couple. It's yeah. It's <laughs> did I ever tell you the time I got lost inside there, Bill? I went there once and it was there for two days. It was really weird. <laughs> and I was like, "You're still here." I'm well, like, I you know, leave. survival. You could just you have things to drink and things to eat. You you should be fine. You just raid the cheese case and raid the shelves and and you'll be okay. Where was the cheese case? I starved on that. No, um, it's missing. Hey, uh, <laughs> we're gonna get to this featured beer of the week. We're gonna drink. Uh, it was, oh, delirium. <laughs> I know this is a favorite of you guys, right? Oh, yeah. Um, Bill, before we go any further, uh, there's beer news up at mybeerbuzz.com. And uh, what, do, what do you got for us today? There is, and we'll cut, we'll cut right to the chase. We'll skip the beer buzz and go right to the news. Lagunitas out of uh, Petaluma, California, and Chicago, Illinois, is coming out with a new beer called Tiki Fusion Zombie, and it's a cocktail-inspired IPA. Sound interesting? That rises 10% from the dead. Yes. <laughs> 10% ABV, 19.2 ounce cans, and that's a that's a, a good news bad news combination. Big beer, big can. Uh, Great Divide is doing barrel aged Yeti, and that will be aged in Laws Whiskey House barrels. That's 12.5% ABV in 16 ounce cans. And if that's not enough fun, Great Divide is doing a Christmas style Yeti beer called Gingerbread Yeti Imperial Stout, and that will be brewed with spices. Vanilla beans and honey, and that big boy hits 9.5% ABV, and it will be packaged also in the big 19.2 ounce cans. And our last little piece of news, Dogfish Head is bringing back a classic beer that I remember from when I first discovered Dogfish Head called Shelter Pale Ale. And that's returning. That's their original pale ale, and it is brewed with local Delaware barley and six different hop varieties, which back in the day when they brewed this thing was really unusual uh, and really rare to do. Uh, that beer will hit 5% ABV and pa- be packaged in 12 ounce cans. That's our breaking beer news of the day. As always, you can click on the breaking beer news tab on mybeerbuzz.com to see all the details. And, and do you close the website for the holidays? Oh, no, you don't. It's open 24 <laughs> 7. That's a website. That's cool. Always kept uh, up to date there. So, um, Lindo. Lindo brought in this beer, and you're, you're remote. You're not in the in the room now. As soon as I see the foil yeah. label and the shape of the bottle, I go delirium. You've taught me this. Yeah, you're learning. I am learning. I, am I know this is a good thing, but this is in regular delirium. This is de- delirium Noel. Yep. It's not pronounced. It's like a funny way. No, you, you said it. All right. You it. Tell, me about, no, tell me about you tell, it. No, you tell me. You already tried it. Right? Oh, I didn't try it yet. I no. tell you. Get the I beer. Know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you're learning on a lot of things, but when somebody puts a beer in front of you, how do you not taste it? <laughs> well, let, me, yeah, hang on, let me take a second step here. Tell me any details. No, on this I'm because... watching you drink it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which, by the way, great for radio. <laughs> That was the show. Great. Linda watched me drink beer for five minutes. <laughs> De- De- Delirium Noel is uh, is, one, is one of my favorite Christmas beers. I mean, nice. We, Delirium Red, you've heard us talk about. I don't know if I ever brought Delirium Red in here, but Delirium yes, Red, yeah. yeah, I have, right? At the time, though, I don't think I had the understanding to like it enough. You didn't have the knowledge. No, thank you. That's the word. See, I don't even have the knowledge to speak. So De- Delirium Red is a monster in our store. We sell a lot of Delirium Red. We always have it on draft. People love it. So just because they know the Delirium Red, they want it, they, they tried Delirium Noel and most, I, I've never had anybody complain about it. It's different than Delirium Red. It's 
it's a winter. It's a big winter. I mean, it's not. It's bigger than a winter warmer. Winter warmers to me are smaller. This is like a. It's a Belgian, a Belgian winter gift. I don't know how to describe it. Um, when I, I'm going to sound naive asking this, but uh, when you say a winter warmer, that's a beer that warms you up a little bit as you drink it. Yeah, but winter warmers are generally lower alcohol than this. This guy's okay. a, this guy's a little bigger, and uh, it's just it, you're not going to drink seven of these. Uh, you know, you, you might, but this is one that you kind of like a sipper, and you maybe share it if you have the tall bottle. Yeah, it's a uh, how, how big the, is this? The bottle we have here is like a it's a smaller size bottle. What is this? Uh, this eleven point two ounces. You got it. What is the big bottle? Thirty two or something? Twenty like a twenty five point twenty five. All right. Is that like a shrinkflation where it used to be thirty two and they shrunk everything? No, no it's, just, it's, it's, it's always been that. Thirty two. Thirty two would be a trip of this, but this is a ten percent alcohol uh, uh, beer from them, and it's just for me, it's just a perfect. Easy, it's uh, beer to love. I struggle like. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, Bill. What was that? No, uh, go ahead. I was going to say they call it a Belgian dark strong ale, which is sort of a generic uh, description of what it is. And actually, in 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 Mel in Belgium at Brewery, brewery Hoiga is the name of the brewery. Um, they they call this Delirium Christmas. It's only really called Delirium Noel in the states. But is it is it in the ceramic bottle, Linda? It, it is. It's it's a glass bottle, but it's been it's been painted. They paint them white so that the so no light can get into it. It's better for uh, to oh. protect the beer, and it's their signature. I mean, nice. all of their all of their beers come in this uh, beautiful glass bottle that's been painted white, and um, different color foils on top uh, dictate what the beer is. And the, the irony here is we're we're hurrying through some of this stuff so we can get to the weather with Ned. We featured this very beer with Sned on one of our Christmas shows back, uh, I don't know how many years ago, quite a few years ago. But, but the brewery itself dates to 1654. What, what were you doing in 1654, Jason? Oh, well, in a past life, I was a, I was a, uh, I owned a small pub in uh, Tunisia. So if you could expect something can do. so specific, did you? And it was, yeah, really. <laughs> And if you can do the math now, after a few sips of the 10% beer, uh, that is their 372nd anniversary. So uh, they have been around quite a long time. Nice. And if you're looking to pick this one up it's and you forget the name, just go Pink Elephant. Pink Elephant, right in the front. Oh, yeah. Probably not a lot of Pink Elephant beers, are there? But they're probably... Is there There's about there? six of them. All the beers from the Delirium line. Yep. <laughs> oh, for, but, oh, they're all Pink Elephants? Yeah, the Pink Elephant is... Right. is pink yep. Elephant with the Santa hat. You got it. That's, that's a better way to put and it, that, so. And that logo was, they had an art student that did that logo, and she designed the logo for two. They paid her with two cases of beer, and that's where they got the logo. And Can you imagine it, how much money they made off that logo, too? That pink elephant is everywhere now. She got ripped off. She should go back for more beer. I was thinking if you met her, like, why yeah. are you limping, Linda? It's like, oh, I got ripped off, and I kick myself constantly. My foot is really sore. I would assume that would be it. That's a shame. Yeah, but th this beer this beer is fantastic. If you're, going to, if you're going to somebody's house, you want to bring something, we do have it in a gift box. It comes with a couple of beautiful glasses that have the pink elephant on it, and or you can just buy a single bottle or, you know. Bring the, bring yeah, it the looks party. nice. As if you want to give it to someone, that's oh, yeah. it comes pre wrapped with a foil. I was going to say, as far as like, if you're somebody who's like a like a I'll call it like a pro beer drinker, you guys know your stuff better than I do. I'm getting there, but I don't like like beer when it's too like sparkly, and I also don't like too much of like a hoppy flavor. This you is didn't perfect. say. What do you think of the beer? Do you like the beer? Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's great. I'm going to say it's real easy to drink. It's it, you taste the the bubbles, but it's not too much. It's not too hoppy. It's uh. It's uh, this is two weeks in a row. You kind of knocked it out of the park. So uh, Christmas beers are easy. It's, uh, not, it's not me. Yeah. It's the beer. Yeah, I want to see what you guys can do <laughs> come January twenty fifth. <laughs> see what you can do one month from now. But uh, delightful. What, what, do you guys have any special hours for Christmas at the uh, Sabatini's? We'll be, oh. Yeah, we'll be open. We'll be open Christmas Eve until about eight o'clock all day. If you need anything, come on in. And Christmas night, we'll actually be there as well, five thirty on. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And, yeah, that's. Uh, if you want to get away from the in laws? Come on down. Um, <laughs> Can I, can I sleep there? Is he have rooms for rent? Uh, well, okay. not, not really. But mother in law's we'll listening, that. going seriously, really. <laughs> um, well, Bill, look, have a merry Christmas, and uh, we're gonna we have to, like you mentioned, we have to get to Snedeker and find out what's happening with this weather pattern. But we'll do this again. I think next week, Nancy will be here. I won't. But merry Christmas, happy New Year to both you guys, and uh, it's always okay. a pleasure. I'm learning a lot. Merry it's Christmas. Like a, it's a have a good holiday. Hey, you too. It's a, a beer school for me weekly, Linda. Merry mm -hmm. Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and to everyone out here at your place. Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar in Exeter. This is the Friday Beer Buzz. Uh, again, bringing good people and good beers. I got it backwards. See, 10% beer is messing me up. Let me do this again. The Friday Beer Buzz.
You want to say it? Bringing good, good people beer. and good beer together. No, it's good beers and good people I, together. I know, I, I said it too. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone drink beer. Have fun. Go to Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar in Exeter. And have, a, have fun next week. And I'll talk to you guys in, in the new year. Merry Christmas.